The Blast Furnace The first area of Disc 2 can be tricky, depending on the strategy you choose. Our goal is the door to the cargo elevator, but there are three obstacles in our way. The crane, the guard up top, and the guard down below. The crane's movement is random. How far it travels and how long it takes between travel intervals is uncontrollable. The crane RNG is determined by the frame you enter the blast furnace, so if you want to practice different crane speeds, make sure to start outside of the blast furnace. How we handle the crane and guards will change our strategy. There are two distinct strategies. Either you are at the mercy of luck, or you remove the luck factor by blowing up the crane. First, let's look at the luck method. On easy, normal, and hard, we're going to run as fast as possible to the wall. If you're on hard, make sure to go along the bottom of the rail or else the guard will spot you on the noisy surface. Ideally, we will duck as the crane goes by, then move along the wall. The chances of this are fairly low, however. Then, approach the guard below, silencing your footsteps on hard to avoid the guard spotting you quick throw as you pass by. In an ideal scenario, this is the fastest approach. Most of the time though, you will be slower than blowing up the crane. Take a look at this example, where the crane goes quickly. You are now in a situation where you hope the crane goes fast in the opposite direction so you can eventually pass by. This can lose well over 30 seconds. If you are playing on extreme, this strategy will need adjustment depending on the weapons you have and your kill count for Big Boss. If you have the FAMAS or SOCOM, kill the guard by standing in this position. If you get a good crane pattern, pass on by then throw the other guard after silencing your footsteps. Remember, the guard's movement depends on when Snake gets there and where Snake goes. Or, take out the bottom guard with a stinger missile. Or, hide in the box. or run to the bottom. Alternatively, you can snipe the guard on the catwalk. Hold up left as you exit the door, aim at his legs, or a bit to the right of his legs. One shot, one kill, then proceed. Finally, if you are really concerned about your kill count on all bosses, silence your footsteps and wait for the guard to move out of the catwalk. Now let's discuss blowing up the crane. One explosion will disable it, preventing it from knocking Snake into the furnace below. There are three methods of doing so, in order of difficulty and speed, the Nikita, the Stinger, and the Grenade. The start will always be the same. You want to save a stun grenade for this strategy. This will prevent an alert when blowing up the crane, saving some time from avoiding the alert. You can do this strategy without a stun grenade, but it means you will need to wait out the evasion before crossing the wall. This mostly defeats the purpose of the strategy, as it becomes less worthwhile compared to average crane luck. At the orange shadow before the door, throw a stun grenade. We want to hit the frame of the door, that way the stun is behind the door after it closes. If you throw the stun too early, it will explode before the door fully closes, causing an alert. If you throw too late, you'll toss the stun into the furnace. On extreme, you may want to throw as late as possible, so you can have more time to take out the guard, like in this example. After the stun explodes, you'll have several seconds to destroy the crane. We'll begin with Nikita. Equip the Nikita and fire up towards the crane. Tap R1 to explode the missile when it is around the crane. Be careful not to blow it up in Snake's face if the crane is close to you. 
understand that using this Nikita missile means you have one less for Vulcan Raven. Now let's try the Stinger. This method is only viable on all bosses, as you will not have access to the Stinger on any percent. Aim towards the wall, making sure that you are not locked onto the rat or guard. The flash can be distracting. Alternatively, you can fire the Stinger where you would fire the Nikita. The only issue is, if this is your last stun, you will be moving more slowly on the catwalk. Doing the extra menu to move faster for 10 steps or so isn't worthwhile. Depending on how well Wolf 2 went, you may not have the Stinger Missile to spare here. If you do plan on this method, try to save one Stinger from Disc 1. The Nikita and Stinger are fairly basic, but they involve stopping in place. Using a grenade allows us to keep on moving, but it requires practice. On any percent easy and normal, you'll have to learn this method if you plan on skipping the Nikita. There are three factors we must consider. When to cook the grenade, when to throw it, and the position of the crane. It is highly recommended that you use D-pad rather than analog for movement to make the setup simple. The following two screenshots show where to cook and where to throw, depending on your preference. I recommend the early or late lines over the latest for two key reasons. One, you can adjust more to the left or right when throwing the grenade. Two, poor throw timing could cause the grenade to bounce off of the wall. In this second screenshot, be aware that there are two details when throwing, how far left you go and how far up you go before throwing. If the crane is fast, we can move up later. If the crane is slow, we can move up earlier. You can also throw earlier or later when moving up. Just make sure not to throw while standing still or the momentum of the grenade will be too slow. Unless you can perfect the throw that explodes in the middle of the crane's path, adjusting more or less to the left helps time out the throw. In the first setup, we will cook at this line, then throw around the middle line at the end of the platform. The way you can tell if the crane is coming fast is the radar. With no radar, you must rely on the crane model as a cue or the audio of it moving. If you delay too much, as in this example, the grenade can blow up in your face. Proper timing will cause the grenade to explode behind the crane, avoiding damage. Finally, to take out the guard without quick throwing him or waiting on extreme, we will cook another grenade on the other side. Hold upright on D-pad. Begin cooking at the start or end of the quiet floor panel. Then throw from the top of the stairs to the shadow. Ideally for rank 1 all bosses, the explosion would barely clip the guard, avoiding a kill. This can be difficult, as a missed time throw can cause it to completely miss and cause an alert. Even so, this grenade throw is easier than the crane grenade. Just be careful of your grenade count going into Raven on easy and normal.